Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. We are starting week number three, and we are almost, almost done with this uh, course. So this is the first day of this week, and we are going to continue with uh, the topic that we were developing the last week. Uh, we have some uh, exercises that we need to um, see the answer for those exercises and all. And also we are going to give more information about that topic. And we are going to know mm, more things about that specific topic that we were developing the, the last week. And that's the topic for uh, this day. So tomorrow we are going to develop other topics and all of the other days of this week number three. So we are going to start with the phrase of the week because you know that I like to share this kind of um, phrases with you at the beginning of the week. So we are going to start with that and then we are going to see the exercises that we were uh, seeing the last, um, the last week, but in that case, I told you that I, I will write the sentences and I did, I wrote the sentence on the document. So this is the um, phrase for today. And it says, my future starts when I wake up every morning, every day I find something creative to do with my life. So it's very important that we start our day thinking about the things that we are going to develop during the day or the things that we are, we are maybe like to do. Also, we have to wake up in the morning and think about something new that I want to learn or something that I want to perform during the day that will help me to, um, find a way in which I want you to be successful. So that's the, the phrase for today. My future starts when I wake up in the morning every day. This phrase tells that every day the future starts. So don't worry if you think that uh, today you did something bad. Tomorrow is a new opportunity to do things better. So. We have a lot of opportunities and that's the thing. When we are waking up, we need to think about the opportunity that we have for that day. So you need to find every day something creative to do with your life. Maybe in your job, maybe if you are studying, maybe with your family, whatever you are doing, you need to find something creative to do. So. Let's see the exercise that we are going to answer today. That is this one in which we have 20 uh, sentences talking about the topic of wish or expressing wishes. So this topic is kind of confusing because it has to be with the structures of the time because we are talking about tenses and maybe it's kind of complicated to see just one time. So in, in, in this session, we are going to talk about that specific use of wish. We are going to have like a review of the topic. We are going to see some information about uh, that kind of sentences. Um, also, we are going to see another uses of wish that is not there. This one that is very um, formal, we are going to talk about uh, wishes that we have. And also we are going to, um, we are going to see the different structures for the time, uh, past, present, and future. So we are going to see this one, the first part of these uh, exercises. Um, is to create unreal situations. Remember that the main uh, point of the I wish or the sentences with wish is to create um, unreal situation 
um, because we have the um, the situation that we passed, but in this case we need to change that. But we know that is something that we can we cannot do because that is something very magical. So in this case, we need to create that unreal situation of these sentences. Acuérdense que wish, el, el uso del wish, es como decir yo deseo, yo quiero, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, por eso se llama situaciones no reales o irreales. Porque es algo que yo ya viví que a mí me gustaría cambiar. Eh, for example, we have in this part, let's see, we are going to see the um, the sentences that we were uh, studying at the last week. In this part, we have, I didn't study this topic at school. We know that we didn't pay enough attention to that topic in the school, but we want to change that. Well, in that case, it's something that we try to do. And the sentence, I wish I had studied this topic. Entonces, ya tenemos la situación que nosotros vivimos. No estudié este tema en la escuela. ¿Y qué queremos nosotros? Deseo o, des o desearía, ¿verdad? Haber estudiado este tema. We know that we cannot change that action or that situation. We just want to find like something I can do with that uh, feeling that I am um, that I have in that moment. In the second one, the weather in this city is pretty cold. We know that we cannot change the weather because it's something natural. But we want to say, I wish the weather weren't so cold. Desearía o me gustaría que el clima no fuera tan frío. Entonces son situaciones imaginarias que nosotros es como decir, ah, me hubiera gustado comerme ese pastel. But why I didn't eat that piece of cake or that cake? Because in that moment, I didn't want to do it. But in this moment, I think that I can eat that cake. So in that case, that's why we say that in this case are unreal situation. Because I have passed something and maybe I am dreaming about something else. So let's see the exercises. We are going to change the real situation for a unreal situation. We have the first one and it says, I can swim. I can swim, no puedo nadar. So in that case, we are going to change. We have a structure that we need to follow. Ya tenemos la estructura que ya la veíamos antes. We are going to remember the structure. And we have that we need a subject, which another subject, the situation that is not real. Entonces, siempre para nuestras oraciones con wish, vamos a necesitar dos sujetos, ¿verdad? El primer sujeto, then wish, we are going to write wish, depending on the subject, siempre depende del sujeto, ¿verdad? Sabemos que con tercera persona lo vamos a cambiar, le vamos a agregar es, that's simple. Then we need the other subject, and then we... Uh, need the situation. We need to change that same situation that we live for another one. So let's see. We have here, I cannot swim. So what is my first subject? I, because I'm talking about me. I wish, that is the second part, I wish, I, again. And remember that we need to change the time. We were in a present in that sentence. We were in present and now we are going to has. So I need to change can or cool. A swim. And we have here the sentence. I need to change this one for mm, this one. So. Es muy parecida a la oración, solo que acuérdense, cuando estamos en un tiempo en específico, tenemos que movernos un tiempo atrás. Solo el futuro es el que tiene dos palabras que siempre vamos a utilizar 
que ya la veíamos en la, en la clase pasada. That is, let me see, let me see here. Cool and cool, these ones. And that are just for the future in that case, because we are writing in future and you, we are just going to change for that, um, that words. But in the other situation, if we are in simple present, we are going to change for simple past and all of that. Vamos a ir cambiando el tiempo por uno atrás. Si ya no tenemos uno más atrás, lo vamos a volver a escribir con ese tiempo. So we have number two. I don't have a good job. I don't have. In that case, it's again present. So who is my subject? I, because I'm talking about me. I wish who? I, again, I wish I, in this case, it is negative. Remember that we need to change into positive. Si ya la tenemos negativa, la pasamos a positivo en el, la fórmula del wish. So in that case, we have um, the uh, verb have, in that case, and we need to change into has. Lo vamos a pasar al pasado. I wish I had. A better job. We are going to change the color. I wish I had a better job. Number three. She doesn't know how to swim. She doesn't know how to swim. We are need to write them uh, we are going to write the subject. The first subject is she, because we are talking about she. She, in this case, we are going to add wishes. She wishes who? She again. He wishes he. In this case, the verb is in present or past. This one. Present or past. Past teacher. It's present. Uh -huh. so, this verb is in present. Past. So we need to change into the past. 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 So we are going to write she wishes new. she new. new. That's right. How to swim. She wishes she knew how to swim. Good. Wait. Let me see. Mm -hmm. So, oh, it's not like this. It's like this. Okay. So, we have another one, number four. I was uh, so busy yesterday. We were talking about past. We have the past of B. So, in that case, we are going to change that. So, we are going to write the subject, I wish, who, I again, hadn't been in negative because in that sentence is a positive. I wish I hadn't been so busy yesterday. Because we are going one time, we are changing that. Estamos cambiando un tiempo atrás. Then, my father didn't see my new girlfriend. So we are going to change that because it's negative. We are going to write in positive, changing the time. We are going to go um, backwards. So who is the, um, the subject? The first subject is I, because I am talking about that my father didn't see my girlfriend. So I wish, in that case, it is not my father, it's I. I wish who? My father. I wish my father had seen my new girlfriend. Okay. 
Okay, guys, I have my two subjects. I wish my father. Number six, my teacher hadn't explained this topic. So I am talking about my teacher, but in that case, I wish, I am wishing something. So I wish who? My teacher, because I'm talking about my teacher. Mm -hmm. I wish my teacher had explained, had explained that or this topic again. So in that case, we're taking some um, specific words from the sentence. Lo único que hacemos es cambiar un poco la oración, pero siempre estamos tomando, ¿verdad? Ciertos eh, datos que aparecen ya en las oraciones para poder transformarlos. So, we have number seven. John is not in Florida today. So, this one is in present simple. So, we are going to change into simple past. So, it says, John is not in Florida today. So, we are talking about who? He. John. John, he, that's good. In this case, we are going to write he in past. He, we, in this case, wishes because we are using the third person. And now we are going to write the verb in past. He wishes who? He were in Florida today. Teacher. Tell me. There is a mistake in the the uh, sentence six and explain, 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 explain. Explain, oh, yes. Okay. It, okay. I write it wrong, explain it. Thank you. You see, we make a lot of mistakes when we are uh, writing. <laughs> So that's something that we need to focus on. That's good. So number eight, I didn't know about this yesterday. I didn't know about this yesterday. So my subject is I wish I, in this case, I had known about this yesterday, about this yesterday. We're going to mark this one like this. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, why is known and, and no new? Because in this case, you are not using the simple past. Because you have oh. the sentence in past. And you are one. one so time. you're not using the simple yes. past. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Remember that I have this one. In this case, we have this. If we are in simple past, in this case, we need to pass into past perfect. Como vamos para atrás. Estamos saltándonos hacia atrás. Si yo tengo did, que ya está en pasado, me voy a ir a pasado perfecto. Past perfect. So in that case, we are not using okay. the, just the past of the verbs. In that case, we need to follow the structure for the other uh, tenses. Okay. Ed, and I have traveled last class with the connection I, I couldn't keep Connected. Yes, uh, yes, that's why I try to explain again the rules for the I wish, uh, because I I know that it's kind of complicated um, just in one uh, session. So for that reason, I am uh, doing the exercise and we are going to talk about again the structure for the I wish. So don't worry, we are Perfect. trying to learn more. That's good. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So we are with the number nine. 
I don't like this rain. This is in present. We are going to pass this one into has. So I, again, I wish, in this case, maybe we want the rain to stop because in this case, we are not going to use just the, the rain as a, uh, as a example. In this case, we need the rain to stop because we don't like the rain. So I need to write, I wish it will stop raining. I wish it will stop raining. It's like saying in Spanish, me gustaría que dejara de llover o que se detuviera la lluvia. So in that case, I wish it will stop raining. It's not like we are going to involve the word rain in the sentence. No vamos a incluir a la palabra eh, lluvia como nuestro segundo subject, sino que vamos a agregarlo como el día que dejara de llover, por ejemplo, la situación. So in that case, we are not going to involve the rain as a, a subject. So number 10, it won't be holiday tomorrow. It won't be holiday tomorrow. So in this case is future negative. Remember that we have two words for uh, the future. That is wool and cool. So in this case, we are going to write, I wish, because we are wishing that tomorrow it's holiday, but in that case, it is not. So, I wish it will be, I wish it, the day, the, the date. I wish it will be holiday tomorrow. Que sería que fuera, verdad, feriado mañana. For example, I think many of, of us want something like that. It's not like something real right now. So number 11, he won't help me to do my homework. I'm talking about something else. So in this case, we have the two subjects. I wish, and we have he. We don't know who he is, but we have that subject. So I wish he will, because we are using the future. I wish he will help me. In this case, it is not necessary to add all the things that we have in the sentence. I wish he will help me. So for this one, remember that we have the words. We have for this one here, wood and cool. And it says that in some cases, cool is better for I and we, not for all the pronouns for I and we. When we have I or we, we are going to use cool, but we can use both of them. That is not like a strict rule in which it says that we are not going to use both of them. But it's better to use school for I and we and wool for the other um, subjects. So that's just something to remember. So we're going to like this. So they are not millionaire. So we are going to change that for something that is not real. And we have the subject, they, in this case, they. I'm not talking about me or something that has to be with me. They wish, who? Again, they, they wish they were. In this case, it's just past because we are using are. They wish they were millionaire. That's simple. In this case, when we are using the present simple, it's kind of easy because we just need to change into past. 
but it's something difficult when we need to uh, change the simple past for the uh, past continuous or something like that. So when it's a um, simple present, it's kind of easy to change into simple past because we just need to change the verb. So we have in number 13, I have to work tomorrow. This one is in simple present again. And I'm going to change that because in that case, um, we're going to write wool. So I wish I in negative wouldn't have to work tomorrow. So in this case, it's like the example that we were uh, doing the last session in which we say that in some cases it is not like we are just going to change in the past because in that case, it is not like an, a strong desire. It's like in this uh, example, because we can say, I wish I had not, I had not to go to work, for example. But in that case, it is not like um, we are saying that we have a strong desire to change that. So in this case, we are going to do it something like this example. So. Then we have routine, my mother couldn't go with me. So she, because we are talking about our mother, she wishes, she wishes she had, she had been able to go with me. So the last one of the part number one is it was snowing when I was in Canada. So in that case, I wish it hadn't, it hadn't been snowing when I was in Canada. In Canada. We have our sentences here. So that's the, um, the answer for that part number one. In the part number two, we are going to write the, the sentence in English we, because we have the sentence in Spanish. We just have to write that sentence in English. So let's see. We have number one that it says, ojalá ella me diera buenas noticias mañana. Then, ella desearía poder pasar el examen. Mi hermano desearía no haber sido psicólogo. Ojalá no hubiese quebrado el TV con un dron. Y por último, nos gustaría que este carro no fuera nuestro carro. So, think about the sentence in English. Remember that you have to write wish. Remember, uh, think about the subject that you are going to use. And I will give you one minute to think about the answers. And you can write in the chat when you are ready. I will check the sentences. And then when I find the correct one, I will write it next to the sentence in Spanish. So, Think about the, the structure, think about the sentence and translate into English. Remember the number one is in a uh, future because we are talking about tomorrow.
Okay, we have one on the group. Let's see. She will give me good news tomorrow. She will give me good. That's good. That's good. Let's see, number one. I wish she would. Give me good news tomorrow. Perfect. We have number one. We need four more. So you have the, the answer, you can write it, right? I have one here, let's see. She wishes she will pass the exam. Mm -hmm. Yes, but in that case, it's better to use school, but they are, uh, they are, go they are both good, okay? So we are going to write it in the two type of words. So she wishes, she cool, and I will write it like this, wool, because it's better with cool. Wool, it's okay, has the exam. Okay. We have number two. Now we need number three, four, and five. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm.
Okay, we have two sentences there. So we're going to write the cover one because in the first one, Mm, is in the present and the second one is it has something that we need to change so in the second one let's see in that sentence the subject is my brother um in that case is not have is had in past so Let's see, the subject is my brother because he, he is thinking about something. In that case, we can write he or my brother and that's okay. But in this case, we are going to write my brother because we have in the sentence my brother. So we need to translate. Solo estamos traduciendo, no vamos a, a cambiar los sujetos, solo vamos a traducir las palabras. So in that case, my brother, and then we add wishes. So in this part, we are going to add the other subject, that is he. My brother wishes he, and the structure, let's see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's good. My brother wishes he had not or hadn't because that's the same. Been a psychologist. That's good, good, good. We have number three and we need number four and number five. Ojalá no hubiese quebrado el televisor con un dron. Let's see. We have, I wish I hadn't broke the TV with a drone. Broken. Mm -hmm. It's broken with N. I wish I hadn't. Good. I wish I I hadn't and broken this one. Broken the TV with a drone. That's good. Perfect. Thanks to you. Just you write the correct form of the sentence. And the last one. Nos gustaría que este carro no fuera nuestro carro. We are talking about we, that is our subject, we. And it's, uh, who can say simple class? And we have two subjects, we and this car. I am helping you. Let's see. Okay. The first part is correct. The first part. Let's see. What is the first part? La primera parte está correcta. That is, we wish, we wish this card. That's correct, but the verb, we are talking that is in simple past and uh, we are using the verb to be. So in that case, in past, what is a negative also? 
Uh -uh. Because we are using R. And in past is. Uh -huh, where? So we are writing in negative. We wish this car weren't. Weren't our car. Okay. Good. That's it. Uh -huh. No, that's that's okay. You uh, write the verb in, in past. That's okay. So, uh, that's why I'm saying that this is kind of complicated topic because we have a lot of things to know. Uh, because it is not just like to express something, it's to follow a structure. Uh, es complicado por el hecho de que tenemos tantas estructuras en inglés y tenemos que saber exactamente cuál es la estructura que sigue ese tiempo y cómo lo vamos a poner y qué vamos a escribir. So, for that reason, it's complicated because we need to like uh, find the correct words and the, the correct structure to write this kind of sentence. So in, in this moment, we're going to just uh, talk about again the uh, topic, but with simple words. In that case, we're just following some uh, structures and we are going to add some like kind of information that we need to know about this one. And then we are going to talk about wish, but in that case, it is not like we are going to see this kind of a structure. In that case, we are just talking about something that we want to do, want to have, or something like that. Vamos a, a ver un poco de información sobre la estructura que estamos siguiendo en este momento, y luego vamos a hablar de una estructura más simple que es, um, I wish you something, te deseo algo, o deseo algo, uh, without following that kind of a structure. So, we are going to add kind of information or more information about this topic. So, we are going to end the topic of I wish with this information. So in that case, we are going to have like a, a table in which we are going to write like the usage of this kind of structure. So we have one, two, three, and a four, like this. So we are going to write why we are using this kind of a structure. And we have, I wish, and then we have the use in an example. So we have in past simple, in a past perfect, and we'll, we're going to write wool. We'll, so for these structures, why uh, or what is the use for that kind of sentences? Using past simple, past perfect, and would. So we have for past simple is to change a present situation. And we have the example, I wish I was or were. And I will um, I will talk about this again. Let's shy. So in this example, it's saying that I am very shy, and I want to change that situation because I'm saying I wish I was less shy. Why are we writing was and were in the same sentence? We know that um, when we are using this structure or this past structure, we have rules for was and where. We know that I was, he was, she was, it was, and you, they, we were. But in this case, when we are using the structure or the wish, we are 
going to use where for all these subjects. Um, para esta estructura, nosotros sí podemos utilizar el was, como normalmente lo hacemos, eh, con las estructuras que ya conocemos, con los pronombres específicos, ¿verdad? Para el uso del was y el where. Pero a la hora de hacer oraciones con wish, utilizamos el where para todos los pronombres porque es más formal. El was se dice que es informal y por eso es que se prefiere utilizar el where with all of the subjects. That's why we have was and where in the example because we can use was but it's informal and we can use where and that's correct. If only you were here. The where here, that's the other example, because we are trying to change something in the situation. Then for the past perfect, it says that is to wish that a past situation had happened in a different way. So we're going to this and we have the example. I wish he had invited me out. He had invited me out. And the other one, I wish you hadn't been. I wish you and then which mean, I mean, in so good. And the last one that is good, it means, or the use is to change a present or future a present or future situation when it doesn't depend on you. So we have the example. I wish it would rain. And the other one, if only, in this case, we are using if only, that is another way to use wish. But in this case, it is not like we are using if only. But it's the same meaning. If only you will stop smoking. So in this case, we are using a rule for situation in which um, we can do something really, because in that case, it doesn't depend on, on us. In the first one, I wish it will rain. In that case, it is something natural. We don't have anything to do with, with the raining. And in the second one, if only you will stop smoking, that is a decision that someone else has to do. So for that reason, um, this would is to change a present or future situation when it doesn't depend on you. And it says that we can use, we cannot use um, would with the same subject. For example, if we have, I wish I, in that case, we're not going to use it because it's like something com like a, com a conflict. So in that case, we are not, um, going to use. I wish I will be taller. In that case, we cannot use will. So in that case, we are going to use I wish I were. It's, it's like we are going to change something in this structure. So then it says we're going just to write uh, the structure um, dividing 
the, uh, the times. We are going to see the present, then the past, and then the future. But just like short information to make it clear. So we have, we have this one that is present and it says, this is like the structure wishes, wish or wishes plus the subject plus past simple. Let's see how it functions. We have here because we have something at the beginning. And it says we form which clothes using past simple to express our wishes or regrets for the present. So remember when we are talking about the present, uh, when we are transforming our sentence, uh, we are going to change that time for the past, the structure of the past. But in that case, it's talking about the present, something that is happening in the present. So we have the examples. And it says the number one, I wish I were rich as a princess. I wish I were rich as a princess. And why I have that, that uh, idea? Because maybe I am having troubles um, with money. I don't have money to buy something and I am wishing I were rich as a princess. And if that was the case, I, Maybe I am not having that kind of troubles in this moment with money. Number two, she wishes she had a bigger house. She wishes she had a bigger house. Because maybe she finds uh, her house kind of small. Number three, Thomas wishes he weren't a policeman. Thomas wishes he weren't negative, remember? Because in the in the sentence, in the situation is positive. He weren't a policeman. And the last one, they wish they could go to Paris. They wish they could go to Paris. So in this case, estamos haciendo el review, así que recuerden que si nuestra situación está en eh, presente positivo, al escribir nuestra situación imaginaria, lo vamos a pasar a pasado negativo y si está en presente negativo, lo vamos a pasar a pasado positivo. That's the rule. So you have to be, uh, to keep that information in mind. So almost done. We have a past. And we have, again, wish, wishes, Plus the subject, plus past perfect. And it says we form wish close using past perfect to express our regrets. About the past situation. And we have the examples. 
number one. It says, I wish I hadn't treated John like that. I wish, and we are talking about past. I hadn't treated John like that. Number two, funny wishes. She had a study psychics at university. She had studying study. at university. And the last one, he wishes he had about a bigger car, bigger car. So we have the structure there. And for the last one, because we just have a couple of minutes, we have the future. And again, we have wish S plus subject. And in this case, we're just going to use wool, but we know that we can use cold and wool. So it says we form which clauses you seen wool express our wishes for the future, just for the future. En este caso con el futuro no nos vamos a ir un paso para atrás. Aquí siempre vamos a estar hablando del futuro. So we have the examples. I mean. Examples. Number one. I wish my son will go to a good high school. I wish my son will go to a good high school. Number two, my mother wishes I will become an engineer when I grow up. And the last one, he wishes his girlfriend will accept marriage proposal. And that's for the structure. So, solo recordemos, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando estamos utilizando los, eh, los tenses, tenemos que enfocarnos en la primera parte o en el primer, eh, la primera oración que vamos a cambiar ya que tenemos que irnos un tiempo atrás. Si ya llegamos al último tiempo, vamos a volver a escribir eh, con el wish en ese mismo tiempo. Eh, para el futuro ya sabemos que tenemos cool and wood y no vamos a irnos un paso atrás. Si nuestra oración del presente está en positivo, la vamos a cambiar a negativo y si está en negativo, la cambiamos a positivo. But all the information you will find it in the document, you have the link, and if any of you doesn't have the, the link, tell me and I will send again the link because we find all the information in that document. So that is all for today, and we are going to see each other tomorrow because it's time to end the session. So have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good You're night. Welcome. You. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.